next day. Well, heading to Vermilion Parish now, the school board is looking to crack down on drivers illegally passing school buses while they're making stops. The board is planning to install cameras on the outside of those buses, allowing them to get license plates and then report those to police. Micah Hatfield has more on the cost and when you can expect to see those cameras. When you see this, you're supposed to stop. But in Vermilion Parish, people haven't been following the law. What's happening is cars are going around our, our buses and students do cross in front of those buses. So we're putting students and parents and everybody on that school bus uh, in jeopardy. Vermilion Parish Superintendent Jerome P.O. says it's been happening a lot in the mornings when buses are picking up elementary students, especially on Highway 699. So their way of stopping it, installing cameras outside of the buses. We can capture the image of anyone that's trying to go around our caution, the arms. We will report that to the police. If it is a student that we catch um, going around one of our buses and report it within 24 hours to the authorities, they will go and take the driver's license from that student. They're doing it as a preventative measure. The first bus to get a camera will be the one that makes stops along Highway 699. And PO says it will be done fairly soon. From there, they will install the cameras on an as-needed basis. Each camera will cost the district about $1,000, but he says it's worth it. One to $2,000 and the life of a child is definitely a great investment. In Vermilion Parish, Micah Hatfield, KETC, TV3. And just a reminder for you about the law when it comes to driving around a school bus. On any two-lane road, even with the turning lane in the center, cars traveling in either direction are required to stop when a bus is making a stop. Now on multi-lane highways with a physical separation in the center like a continuous turning lane or a median, only those drivers traveling the same direction as the bus or in the turning lane are required to stop. Next tonight, Lafayette Councilman Brandon Shelvin wants the state's office